Hi, everybody. So I want to make sure we're on the same page and starting off with this right away. I've been trying to read all your comments. In fact, I've read all the comments, and it's very interesting that people seem to be finding these videos from a YouTube search, probably because you're just now becoming aware of, of the different shows that are appearing in your feed, and you're looking to find you know, more answers. You're not used to being ha um, having such detailed breakdowns of, of these readings. And if you're somebody who's just stumbled across this video and who expects that I'm going to hand you all the answers to mediumship in a 5, 10, 15, 20 minute video, well, I'm sorry that isn't going to happen. This is a skill that takes a long time to develop mediumship. And explaining it means that we have to really break it down and understand it because it's the psychology of not only the, the psychic or medium that is doing the reading, but it's the psychology of the sitter also who is interpreting it, who's listening in a way to make it valid and how they relate the story later to their family and friends about genuine mediumship, forgetting that they may be misremembering or that they really badly wanted it to be real. So this channel that I'm that you see in front of you, Psychics Explained, is for you to understand the methods of mediumship and the tricks, the the verbal tricks, as well as other tricks that you know with editing and manipulation that happens. I'm trying to break this down for you with your help because. Your comments help, and I learn all the time. I see things that you don't see, and you see things that I don't, that I completely miss. And I think it's really interesting. But if you're watching these videos thinking you're going to just get all the all the knowledge, I'm sorry, it, it just isn't going to happen. So today I want to break down one basic reading method. It's very small. It's like three sentences. So I'm going to play it for you and let's break it down and really think about it because I think it has a, a lot to do with what is actually happening. And until you can get these words more or less transcribed and you're looking at them and look at them with a, with a, a view of not having a, a prejudice about it, like you don't have any skin in the game and you're really just looking at these words, then you see it's like, it's like the curtain parting, I guess, if if you can take your emotion out of it and look at it with just plain what is going on kind of thing. So let's look at this. Well, let's listen because it's just audio. So let me play that for you. Okay, so I'm going to set this up for you. It's, it's just like 20 seconds long. What is happening is he's face to face with a woman and he's it's probably a part of like a three minute reading and he's called her up out of the audience. I know he's hot redder. So that part of the, the, the reading isn't important. It's this little bit of exchange that I think is really the important part. So let me turn up the volume here so you can hear and I will play it for you. And if we need to, we'll play it more than once. So listen, if you want to jot this down, think about what's being said. Um, and was this a, a love type of relationship? He was my husband. Okay. Because he keeps putting hearts around you. Okay. Okay. Do you get it? Let's try it one more time. Um, and was this a, a love type of relationship? He was my husband. Okay. Because he keeps putting hearts around you. Okay. That, that right there encompasses mediumship as a whole. Just right there is why it feels so real. Why does it feel so much like he got her husband? Why is a sitter who hears that in a time when you're vulnerable, emotional, you think he's in contact with your husband. You think he's talking to a dead person right there. Why do you so want to connect to that? I mean, it's just, a, it's just it feels so real, right? But what he says what are the actual words he's saying? Now, one more time, because it's just very quick. 
Um, and was this a, a love type of relationship? He was my husband. Okay, because he keeps putting hearts around you. As I say, almost every medium I've ever seen does exactly this. They make us a, a question. It's general. Was this like a love connection? Was this somebody that you loved? Okay, think about that. Husband, wife, sister, brother, you know, grandparents, parents, somebody you loved in other reasons, best friend, anything. Was this somebody that you loved? Was this a love connection? Yeah, you could think of it as like a partner, love, sexual love, or it could be a love of a parent, love of a child, love of a, a friend. Was this like a love connection? The sitter, the woman who's hearing this, makes the decision of how she wants to um, receive that. So if she wants it to be her husband, her lover, her child, her mother, her sister, her best friend, she can respond that way and it will fit. Because there's nothing that he could that you could invalidate what he just said. Is the person that we're talking about, because this is a longer reading, as I said, is the person that we're talking about in this longer reading that you are so emotional about somebody you loved? And she said, yes, it is my husband. She claims it. That is my husband. She could just as easily have said, yes, that's my sister. Yes, that's my child. Yes, that's my, my mother. Yes, that's my best friend. And he said, as smooth as butter. Because they've been doing this. He's been doing this for years. And all these psychics have got thousands of readings under them. As smooth as butter. He says, yes, because that's what he's saying. Yes, because he's putting hearts around you. And that's my symbol for, for love. He could have said, yes, because that's what they're telling me. Or yes, because he's putting flowers around you. Yes, because he's showing showing um, an emotion towards you. Yes, because he's putting smiles towards you. Yes, because he's showing birds around you. Yes, because he's showing music around you. Anything he could have said. But whenever he says he's putting a heart around you, whatever that means, is is making it more because she said it was a husband. If she had said, um, yes, it was my music teacher that I just, uh, she taught me everything I have ever known and she was an amazing person. Well, then he might have said music, right? If it was um, a statement about you know, my mother and how much I loved her and, and that kind of thing. Well, he might have said, yes, because that's what she's telling me. So was this clear? I hope. <laughs> because I want you to understand it's that little exchanges that happen so quickly in an emotional moment when you're getting this reading that you, the sitter, interpret it the way you want to to be meaningful to you that makes the reading. All he's doing is agreeing with what he, some generic question he threw out there and you give the answer. And the sitters almost always give the answers. They're, they leap to, to help, to assist the medium with the answer. We overshare. It's not our fault. We're trying to make a connection with this medium. We want to hold on to that very tenuous moment that he's talking to your, your loved one. You don't want it to move. You don't want him to jump to another person in the audience. You want him to stay with your person. So you agree. Yes, that is my person. And yes, you're 100% right. And the psychic just reiterates right back to you. Yeah, because that's what I'm getting. That's what he's telling me. That's what she's telling me. Yes, she's sending you flowers. Yes, because that's what I see. Yes, did you pick up a coin? Did you get the coin he sent you? Did you get the song he sent you? It's it's all a variation on the same topic. It's it's just a method they use to looks very, very real. And when that woman walks out of that building, I guarantee you, she's going to tell everybody she knows that 
the medium she just saw got her husband. I bet in time, as she tells the story more, multiple times, she's going to say he even knew her name, knew his name. Oh my gosh, I saw this psychic. He was amazing. He came right and told me and told me told me my husband's name and that my husband is watching over me and he loves me very much. That's not what he said. That's what she remembers. And and the more times you tell the story, it gets added on to. That's not her fault. She's not lying. You just tend to embellish because we humans are storytellers. In time, it becomes more and more. But he did not say. This is your husband I'm getting. No, he said, who is it that was? Okay, so I hope you like this channel. Please subscribe. I want to do a lot more of these videos and breaking it down. There's so much to teach you. And there's so much we can learn from each other. You know, in the few weeks I've had this channel going, I, I the just the comments and the outpouring of, of interest has been amazing. But I really do think that you're stumbling onto this and you maybe you're hoping for the secrets. I'm giving them to you, but they're but it's like learning a language. It's not just a simple here's your answer. It's let's understand what's happening, not only from the viewpoint of the psychic, but the viewpoint of the sitter as well. And the room, the the motion of the room, the people around you will say, oh my gosh, he just knew you, you know, he was talking to your husband. And then you say, yeah, I guess he did, right? It's misremembering. It's just like group feeling of love towards you and how, how amazing your husband was just in contact with you. Wow, how did he know that it was your husband? Well, he didn't. You told him. Anyway, please like, please subscribe, please share, please comment. Think about that. That was just like three sentences right there. And I've spent 10 minutes going on about there's so much to do so much to understand. Please stay with me and let's do this together. Thanks.